Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to share this recipe with you it's going to be Mithi Kujur or Kujur uh, Mithai this recipe is my mom's so here we go for that you need some butter that which I've melted this is semolina sugar this desiccated coconut this is salt and this is white sesame seeds and also we got some plain flour all the measurements of all the ingredients are going to be in the description box so you can have a look first of all what we're going to do is melt the sugar in the pan so I'm going to add the sugar just going to add one cup of water to this that's it and put it on the, on the heat we just need to melt it, we're not making no syrup as such. We're gonna start adding the ingredients by one by one. First the semolina goes in. Give me a good mix. We're gonna put the fennel seeds in or the salt. The desiccated coconut goes in. And the sesame seeds. Give it a mix with your hands. Make sure it's all evenly spread out. And now we're going to add the butter. But I'm not going to add the butter all at once. I'm going to put half in first and then we'll see how it looks. With the hands, just start rubbing the butter and the flour together. I'm trying to get fine breadcrumb texture. So just keep on mixing. I'm going to add some more butter. On mixing it all together, get the dry flour and mix it with the butter. We have some more butter, that seems a bit less. I'm taking time to put the butter in because every flour is different so sometimes you might use all of that butter sometimes you won't need all of it so that's why we can't take it out but we can add bit by bit so that's why I'm trying to be careful not adding too much these big bits of butter make sure you rub them in your fingers This is going to take me about two to three minutes, then I'll show you how it looks. This is completely done now. I did add all the butter, what I had left over. And when you press it like this, it should look something like this. The syrup is done now as well. Make sure it's cool to the touch. Don't put hot syrup in there because all the butter will melt. So I'm going to start adding a bit at a time. Give it a mix. Work all that in. And this side is on there. Press it and bring it all together like so. And then gather all the dry flour on one side. Add some more. Give it a mix. I'm 
I think that all of this will go in there. So I'm gonna work this in. We don't want a thick dough and we don't want a really thin one. It's just like a medium dough we're making. Just work in the water. That's excess on the sides. Take the dry flour on the side. Just keep on mixing it. Could do with a tiny bit more liquid, so I'm gonna get some more water. Just with my hand. Just put some more in. But that's just some tap water I bought. be fine so I'm gonna work this for about five minutes then I'll show you how it looks this is how the dough should look don't worry about the cracks because that's because of the sugar and when you get it in your hand and make a dough ball it should look something like this so we'll start making the balls now like this they're gonna expand when you fry them so you can just make them this side size will be enough. So you just get the flour. And just don't make it too holes. I'm gonna make a few of these and then I'll show you what we do next. I've got the oil on the heat. I put it on high heat for a couple of minutes. Now I'm gonna just Put it in a low to medium, and we're gonna start making the kajus. I make some dough balls here. I'm using this basket to give the shape to the kajus. So you get one dough ball, just with your hand, make it into an oblong shape, as you can see, and then get this part, and you just hold it. There you go, your kaju is made. I'll show you that once more. Hold it from there and then just press and there you go, that's a kaju shape. If, you find, if you're gonna find that difficult to make, I'll show you another way what, that you can make them. So it's the same again, but this time you just flatten it out. with a fork just press it there you go you can make it like that way if you're finding it difficult the way the other way I made and that's two ways I just told you how to make it I'll show you another one I'll make that one press Don't need no plain flour anything on, on the board because it's got enough butter in it, it won't stick. So I'm gonna make all these and then we'll fry them. Just put a tiny bit of the dough in there. That'll be fine because we don't want it too hot. Uh, the kajuns will be cooked from the top and inside they'll be raw. So we're gonna start adding one at a time. You have to be, re be really patient with these. They take quite a bit of time to cook because you have to cook them on a slow heat. But the results are amazing. So I'm gonna put all these in. And I'm not gonna touch these now because if you mix them straight away or you they'll just break up. So I'm gonna let this cook on a low heat and then we're gonna turn them over once they rise up. Then I'll show you how they look. As you can see, I haven't touched these, they've just risen themselves and look how puffy they've gone because we've got quite a lot of butter in there. So I'm going to just cook them at this heat until they're nice and golden brown. Halfway when they're done, I'll show you how they look. 
Half quilt for wear, guys. They look something like this. As you can see, none of them are broken up. I've been really careful turning them over. I'm just going to let them cook for another couple of minutes and then they'll be completely done. So guys, I've taken these ones out, they're completely done. What I'm going to do is put them on a cooling rack. They're quite hot. You have to really cool this down and then they'll be nice and crispy. So these are done. One other tip for you guys is you can make the kujus and leave them to air dry for about half an hour and then they'll keep their shape more. Because of, because of the video, I fried them straight away and they opened up a bit. But these ones, I'm going to let them air dry for about half an hour and then I'll fry these and I'll, I'll come show you these how they look as well. So the kajus are all made now. This is a half of the batch that I've made. You have to really let them cool down and then they'll be nice and crispy. I'll show you one now. As you can see, nicely cooked. See how crispy it is. And one other thing guys, the dough will go a bit hard until you make the rest of them. Don't panic, it's just because the sugar's in there. When it's gone hard, just work it with your hand for about a minute or so. With the heat of your hands, it'll go nice and soft again. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please give it a like and share it with family and friends. And please, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's my mom's recipe. And uh, I've made it after a long time, but it's turned out really well. I hope everybody enjoyed it and on Instagram so many people have asked for this recipe so hopefully it'll be up and everybody can watch it. Okay, Allah Hafiz.